Hello everyone, welcome to Dark Astro Science and today in this video I will be talking about the planetary war between Mars and Venus which is going to start today on 19th of February in the late evening in the sign of Capricorn. At this point of time Mercury, Venus and Mars these three planets are transiting in the sign of Capricorn. Previously Sun was also transiting along with them but on 13th of February Sun has already left Capricorn and entered Aquarius and got conjunct with Saturn. So, that means at this point of time it is Mars and Venus and Mercury. If I talk about Mercury then I will also say that tomorrow on 20th of February Mercury is leaving Capricorn. Mercury is going to enter the sign of Aquarius tomorrow. So, basically it is all about Mars and Venus. Their energies will be concentrated in the sign of Capricorn. Mars is exalted in Capricorn and Capricorn is lauded over by Saturn. So, for Venus it is a friendly sign. So, both are well dignified in the sign of Capricorn. Now, let us talk about the planetary war. Today in the late evening, the planetary war between Venus and Mars will start. Now, what is a planetary war? If you do not know, let me just say it for you. Whenever two planets transiting in the same sign or it can be different signs also, if the difference of degree between the two planets is less than 1 degree. Now, suppose a planet is transiting in the uh, in a sign around 23 degrees and in that same sign suppose another planet is transiting at 22 degrees it is a planetary war. Now, this is a scenario of same sign. Let me talk about the different signs. Let us take one example. Suppose Mars is transiting at 1 degree Capricorn. Suppose Mars is transiting at 1 degree Capricorn and Venus is transiting around 29 degrees to 30 degrees Sagittarius. So, you will see a time will come when the degree difference between Mars and Venus will be less than 1 degree because Venus will move forward. So, that is also a planetary war means it can be consecutive signs also and within the same sign also means the actual difference should be within one degree. If it is in the same sign it is very easy to understand but if it is in the different signs then we have to check the longitudinal degrees of the planet means suppose a planet is in the Sagittarius in the uh, like 29 point something longitudinal degrees and a planet is in the sign of Capricorn around 0 to 1 degree. Okay. Then it becomes a uh, planetary war. Today in the late evening Venus will hold the lowest degree, Mars will hold the highest degree, but the longitudinal difference will be less than 1 degree. That means today Venus will start the planetary war and it will win it. The planet which has the lowest degree wins the planetary war. So, today when that war starts Venus will be the winner, but Venus transits faster as compared to Mars. So, a time will come when Venus will come equivalent to the longitudinal degrees of Mars and Venus will be same a time will come in next 2 to 3 days and then what will happen Venus will cross Mars. That will be a time when Mars will hold the lowest degree and Venus will hold the highest degree and then what will happen Venus will move forward. This will happen on 25th of February that means the planetary war between Mars and Venus will finally break on 25th of February. And if you check the transit of 25th of February, you will see that Mars is having the lowest degree and Venus is having the highest degree. Because obviously, Venus is a planet which moves faster, it will move ahead of Mars. That means on 25th of February when this planetary war finally ends, Mars emerges out as the winner of this planetary war. 
Now, since I said the planet which has the lowest degree is the winner and since Mars will have the lowest degree that time, at that moment of time, Mars will be the winner. But the question comes, which is very important. Suppose a planet loses in the planetary war, how will it give the results? Because it has lost the planetary war, because this is the thing which is not talked about. This is the thing which is not talked about. Now, let me talk about a um, very significant um, topic as I am talking about this. Many of you will have, I mean not many, many, many of you will have uh, this kind of conjunctions. Not only Mars Venus, it can be Mars and Jupiter, it can be Venus and Mercury, it can be any two planets. Not Sun and Moon, not Sun and Moon, because Sun and Moon does not participate in the planetary war. They do not participate in the planetary war. Sun and Moon does not participate in the planetary war. Here I am not talking about Rahu and Ketu also. I am talking about the other planets like uh, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Venus and Saturn. Suppose in your chart you have any two planets or any three planets getting along into a planetary war. How to understand? Check the longitudinal degrees. If they are um, within longitudinal degrees of one degree in the consecutive signs or within the same sign, then it is a planetary war. But how to understand how the planet will uh, impact or how the planet will give its result? Because suppose someone has won and someone has lost. Like today, when the war starts, Venus will win, but on 25th, Mars will emerge as the final winner. So, there is a rule behind it. The rule is that um, suppose a planet has lost in the planetary war, then what will happen? The result of that planet will be given by the planet which wins it. Like suppose on 25th of February, when Mars will emerge out as the winner, what will happen? Mars will give the result of Venus. This I am talking about with regards to the classical scriptures. Means Mars will actually control how Venus will give the results. Now, someone may ask that after 25th of February, when the planetary war finally ends, um, because this is a rule only in the planetary war. When the planetary war finally ends on 25th of February, then what will happen? Then I will say slowly and gradually Venus will regain its significance and Venus will start giving its results again. Its impact can be there in our day to day lives, but yes, after 25th of February, that means you can say that maybe 26th or 27th onwards, you will see that. Uh, the significance of Venus or the significance of the houses ruled by Venus, they will come into picture, they will come into its own um, attention, focus. But during this particular 7 days, although the first 1 or 2 days Venus is winning the planetary war. So, Venus will give you the result of the houses ruled by Mars, the initial 2-3 days that is the 19th, 20th and uh, the some part of um, initial some hours of 21st of February also. So, you see, you have to check this kind of situations in the natal horoscope also. Suppose if you are having the planetary war in your natal horoscope, then it becomes very important. Because suppose you are running through a dasa of a planet, which has already lost in the planetary war and you are expecting something to happen check that which planet is winning it. That planet will give you the result of the planet which has lost in the planetary war. Okay. Because the planet which is victorious, that will hold the lowest degree and that will hold the importance. Okay. Now, Mars is fire element. Mars is aggression, impulsion, energy, passion, the masculine power. Venus is water element, Venus is love, compassion, pleasure, our conveniences, luxury, comfort, sensuality. When these two planets are getting into this kind of situation, it 
upsurges a spark within us now if it is between like any two people it can be like love romance uh, sensuality or sensual pleasures also sometime but that does not means that it will be between any two people or it will be this is a because this is a very general statement it can create that kind of excitement and energy in any aspect of your life like suppose someone is a very good sportsman all of a sudden that person will try to improve his or her talent or brush up the skills work on the creativity because venus is winning the um, uh, planetary war for the uh, for the initial two days and then uh, when mars will win it what will happen the same person the same sportsman can improve the stamina can improve the energy level can improve the skills when, when it requires the actual hard work effort it can actually uh, be understood that in which house it is happening which houses are ruled by mars and venus in your chart and then you can apply the rules you see this is uh, like um, from 19th to 20th, uh, 25th of february that means a span of only 7 days starting from 19th onwards till 25th 25th is included okay so that means 7 days but the impact will stay for the next few days after this planetary war is finished when venus will march more ahead march forward slowly and gradually you will see the conjunction of mars and venus is trying to give you better results much better results because this is a sign where mars and venus both are very happy to stay for venus is it's a friendly sign for mars it's a uh, like it's an exaltation sign and this will go on till 7th of march on 7th of march venus is leaving capricorn it will enter the sign of aquarius so starting from 25th till 7th of march slowly and gradually we will see that venus will uh, start giving its own result because uh, it will move far away from mars and it will give its own results and the conjunction that influence of this conjunction will give you really better results with respect to wheresoever the sign capricorn lies in your chart and definitely it will also impact you with regards to which houses um, venus and mars rules okay it is not only about two people it can be anything it can be like your money matters it can be related to your home your creativity your relationships your work it can be related to anything okay now what if you have mars venus conjunction in your chart or what if you have mars venus planetary war in your chart then it will impact you a lot or i can say that it has already started to impact you specifically suppose if you are in a relationship then it will like it will be like um, means it will increase that excitement it will increase that sensual feeling between you and your partner your passion your compassion your love will be improvised during this particular time and starting from today late evening the planetary war has is going to start so definitely it is um, a time when you will be like too much focused towards your partner towards your uh, all the matters related to a relationship and partnership suppose if you are not in a relationship in any kind like suppose you don't have any personal uh, bonding and anything relationships you don't have any um, professional uh, partnerships also in that case i will say that here relationship does not only mean husband and wife does not only mean spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend it means how you are bonding with other people you will be very much excited to get along with other people this is how this transit and this energy of mars and venus will work in our lives in our day to day lives depending upon what we are into what kind of efforts we are putting in day to day lives so someone will say that you know i am a chef 
I cook. So you will be very passionate towards how to make the food more tasty. It's just like that. Okay. So I will say that um, this planetary war has something good. But yes, definitely it will depend upon which houses it is happening. And for that I will be talking about its result with regards to the ascendant wise uh, how it is going to impact you. I will talk about that. Uh, and I will also request you that if you are new to this channel, tap onto the subscribe button, click onto the notification bell icon so that every time I make a new video, you get notified instantly. And if you want a consultation with regards to this kind of transits, because yes, definitely it will impact you uh, at different level with different magnitude with regards to your personal horoscope. So you can uh, check the links down in the description section. You can also mail me through my email ID. You will find all the details down in the description section or you can get connected with me through my Facebook or Instagram accounts. So now I will start for all the 12 ascendant sign. You can also check it from your moon sign too but first check it from your ascendant sign because that will give you that which aspect of your life is getting really impacted in the real manifestation in the physical manifestation correct. Then you can check it from your moon sign also to understand that how it is impacting you emotionally. Okay. For the Aries ascendant people, Mars and Venus is getting conjunct and having the planetary war in your 10th house in the sign of Capricorn. Mars is your Lagna Lord which is getting exalted, getting the directional strength in the 10th house and also emerging out as the winner of this planetary war by the time 25th of February comes. So this indicates that it will bring a new energy, new passion towards your work towards how you are completing your work. This will not only improve your name, fame and status at your workplace, but also you will be recognized, applauded by your authorities, by your superiors. You will see that all your projects are getting completed, going towards success. So overall, I will say that this particular conjunction of Mars and Venus and the planetary war which is happening, it is going to improve or uplift your career your profession not only that suppose if you're associated with any kind of like uh, business or trade or partnership in that case also i can see that it will bring a lot of success at your doorstep now since venus initially venus will be in good dignity but um, what I can see that by the time 25th of February comes, Venus will lose the planetary war. So Venus rules your 7th house and 2nd house. That is partnership, money, family, your values, anything which is very important to you, very valuable to you. All those things are ruled by Venus in your chart. And Venus is losing the planetary war. Although Capricorn is a friendly sign to Venus. But when I'm, when I'm talking about this particular conjunction and the planetary war, then I will say you that it may impact your family life, it may impact your married life, your relationships. Means how you are connecting with your partner. Now remember it can be at the personal level also, at the professional level also. There can be some problems um, like some clashes with your partner with regards to money matters or with regards to some family matters also. You may also feel that um, you are like too much, too much into work or too much into your own self and you are hardly getting any time to uh, spend some time with your partner. So this is the time when you need to be um, having, you need to have that particular balance, work-life balance because what I can see, yes, Mars is exalted in the 10th house. So basically it will bring a new energy, new zeal at your work workplace, at your like, it will improve your public image, definitely. But what I can see that you have to also provide equivalent amount of energy with regards to with respect to your family life, with respect to your uh, like relationships and everything. Now, suppose if you are not in a relationship, then I will say you that Venus rules your seventh house. Seventh house means how you are bonding with other people, not necessarily boyfriend or girlfriend or spouse, husband, wife, not necessarily that how you are bonding with other people. That means to some extent it may bring ego within you because you see Mars will be aspecting your first house 
by fourth aspect mars will be aspecting your fifth house by eighth aspect so yes definitely it will it will boost your ego and that can create clash between you and the other people means it can be any person with whom you are having a regular bonding or suppose you are just meeting a new person okay in that case also i'm saying so these are the area uh, which may create um, some kind of like decline specifically when you are uh, maintaining the interpersonal relationships money matters family matters okay these are the things we need to be very careful otherwise what i can see is that uh, when we talk about the like personal development and everything specifically career and profession those things are going to be really very good so that's it for the aries ascendant people for the taurus ascendant people this conjunction of mars and venus and the planetary war is happening in the 9th house and you see venus is the lagna lord by the time 25th of february comes venus the lagna lord is losing the planetary war mars is the 7th lord and 12th lord mars is winning the planetary war and mars is also exalted in the 9th house means this particular thing is happening in your 9th house okay now this simply means when it comes to like uh, partnership when it comes to like um, traveling abroad or suppose you are thinking to uh, pursue new kind of education or new kind of studies or new kind of knowledge in th- those sectors you will be really very successful you will be doing really very good but suppose you are doing any kind of service you are doing any kind of job or you are trying to focus on your own health these are the areas where you need to work a lot during this particular time one more thing i can see is that uh, since uh, venus is your sixth lord and first lord so it has something to do with your health so during this particular time you need to be very careful regarding your health specifically if you are traveling specifically if you are uh, getting into some kind of hard work like um, suppose you are very busy in your work so you need to be very careful regarding your health since venus is your first lord and mars happens to be your seventh lord so this has something to do with interpersonal relationships also partnerships basically like you can say uh, professional and pa- pa- personal both now suppose if you are in uh, any kind of relationship at the personal level that is it can be like husband and wife or boyfriend or girlfriend something like that in that case i will say that there can be some kind of classes between you and the other person with respect to the ethics with respect to the belief system because this conjunction is happening in the house that is ninth house where belief system or the higher spiritual knowledge is seen so there can be some kind of classes and at times you may feel that you have to compromise on certain matters because venus the first lord is getting um that is it is losing the planetary war so at some t- uh, certain times you may feel that you need to compromise but again i will say you that you don't need to worry because um, after 25th of february slowly and gradually venus will again regain its dignity so that will be a moment that will be a time when the balance between you and the other person that is your partner will again try to uh, it will just regain its uh, importance okay so it will bring that balance back one more thing is that suppose if you are not in a, any kind of relationship be it personal or professional i will say you that uh, see it has something to do with how you are bonding with other people okay you will feel that whenever you are getting into some kind of communication you are uh, getting into some kind of like uh, meeting new people you may feel that you are uh, getting some kind of like dominating uh, impact upon yourself by the others it is not only about the uh, boyfriend or girlfriend or something like that It means any person with whom you are binding uh, through your emotions like interpersonal relationships i'm talking about you may feel that you are getting dominated by the other person because mars is your seventh lord and which is getting uh, not only exalted but also emerging emerging out as the that uh, winner of this planetary war one more thing is that venus is your sixth lord 
Mars is your twelfth lord. So what I can see here is that suppose if you are doing any kind of work like day to day work, uh, service or job, at times you may feel that you are getting too much lethargic. Although you see this is uh, means you may say that why it is so that because Mars is uh, energy and Mars is getting exalted. Mars is winner of the planetary war. So why it is um, bringing lethargy? Don't forget Mars is your twelfth lord. Venus is your sixth lord. Okay, so at times you may feel that um, that okay. Let me just. I am just. You may feel that okay. You are very happy. You are very cheerful. You don't need to work so much. You don't need to do that. This okay. So it may suffer uh, your day to day. work scheduling and all these things so you have to balance those areas of your life during this particular time okay so that's it for the taurus ascendant people <clears throat> for the gemini ascendant people this mars venus planetary war and the conjunction is happening in the 8th house now for the gemini people mars rules the 11th house and the Sixth house, Venus rules your twelfth house and your fifth house. Now, since Mars is emerging out as the winner, and it is, and the transit is happening in the eighth house, this simply indicates that uh, you have to means um, you will be able to do a lot of hard work. You will be able to push through your creativity. with lot of uh, skill management and like hard work and efforts so suppose if you are doing any kind of studies or research and which requires a lot of efforts and creativity this is the time when you will be able to get success out of it but at the same time since venus is your 12th lord um and venus is losing this planetary war at the same time you may also feel that you have got something you have got the success your efforts are getting recognized but again at the same time you will feel at the subconscious level that you are getting too much tired too much lethargic too much lazy means you don't want to be lazy but you may feel that oh it's getting too much at the health level i'm talking about now you won't be able to like uh, express it at the external health at the mental level you will feel that you are getting too much tired although your work will get successful you will feel that the creative self expression of venus because venus rules your fifth house that is getting overpowered by the that energy of sixth house which is ruled by mars so whatever creativity you have you will feel that yes i am getting the uh, success out of it but at the same time you will feel that um, okay i got something but at what cost okay so it will be like a win loss game for you sometimes you may feel that okay i got something but uh, maybe so this may also impact because you see they will be both looking on to your second house of money um family values so there can be a chance where uh, this can lead to some kind of expenditure also okay it can like uh, all of a sudden out of that uh, excitement out of that uh, that uh, energy of mars you may also have a very uh, straight forward speech at times so this is a time when you have to be very careful regarding what you are saying to whom you are saying the speech matter is very important okay um i will also say that try to avoid any long distance travel during this particular time okay if it is possible try to avoid it so that's it for the gemini ascendant people for the cancer ascendant people this mars venus planetary war and conjunction is happening in your 7th house so venus is a very important planet you and similarly mars is the yoga karaka planet for the cancer ascendant people venus rules your 4th house and 11th house similarly Mars rules your fifth house and your tenth house. Now, since Mars rules your fifth house and tenth house, and it is winning the, it is emerging out as a winner um, in, in this planetary war. This indicates that 
your creativity your professional success all will be established during this particular time okay you may get significant amount of uh, like favor support from your employer in case you are working under some institution or under someone you you will see that your authorities are supporting you uh, you may also get like some kind of recognition all of a sudden okay now that can be that will depend upon the magnitude of what kind of dasha and what kind of horoscope you have okay uh, it may vary it may like um, it may vary in magnitude maybe small maybe large but um, some kind of recognition some kind of support and favor is seen you are going to get it okay now since mars will be looking onto your first house 10th house and second house by its seventh aspect uh, by fourth aspect it will be looking and in this 10th uh, house um, by eighth aspect it will be looking into your second house and since mars is the yogaraga planet so it will try to improve this kind of these houses that is your personality your money matters your work and um, career and profession okay but since mars is winning out as the winner um, coming out as the winner and mars is that energy that impulsion this can also lead to some kind of expenditures all of a sudden you may feel that okay maybe i need to earn more maybe okay in order to get this let me do this expenditures okay so this kind of things can happen and why because in your chart luxury happiness comforts income earnings are looked upon by venus because venus rules your 4th house and 11th house and that is losing in this planet reward so what is happening you may feel that i have got so much thing but still it is not done something is lacking so that money matter will always be there so there can be some kind of clashes between you and anyone from your network circle okay uh, in your domestic place also there can be some kind of clashes between you and anyone in your home okay in your domestic matter and since it is happening in the 7th house i will say you here one thing that uh, suppose if you are in any kind of relationship be it personal be it professional suppose in that case this particular transit and this planetary war has to be given uh, very uh, proper importance because at times there can be a lot of impulsion there can be a lot of excitement uh, between you and your partner um, so some days some moments will be good and sometimes there can be like uh, out of ego uh, you do something you say something and that may create problems okay because mars in the 7th house is like mars is not a planet of compromise okay so and since it is exalted it is win, winning the planetary war so that will actually improvise your ego at times you may uh, become very hard headed hot headed okay so i will say you that uh, just uh, make sure that you don't hurt your partner by your speech by your actions in fact i will say that this is a time to show your efforts towards your partner that will be really um, needed and that will be really commendable from your side okay uh, another thing is that now someone will say that what if i am not in a partnership i am not in a relationship in that case i will say you that since it is happening in the 7th house and 7th house is the house of the binding or the bonding the interpersonal relationship it can be any one between you and any other person okay so make sure that when you are connecting with any other person uh, there should be a great sense of humility groundedness within you okay because don't forget that capricorn is a earth sign is an earth sign okay so this is how this particular energy of mars and venus will play for um, cancer ascendant people okay make sure you don't uh, means exaggerate your ego in front of the other people okay so that's it for the cancer ascendant people for the leo ascendant people mars and venus is transiting in your 6th house and they are getting into the planetary war mars is the yogaraka planet it rules your 4th house and your 9th house venus rules your 3rd house and your 10th house 
normally i will say that um, venus's transit in the 6th house is an everest transit it is not a very great transit okay and it is also losing the planet river and it rules very important houses that is the third house of efforts your communication and 10th house of your career your profession your name fame status and it is losing the planet river in the 6th house so it indicates that either you will want to change the course of your career and profession or you may also feel that uh, the efforts which i am putting i am not getting enough appreciation or recognition out of it so this may also make you feel that okay let me change the way of my work let me do something else let me try something else so this is a time when you need to be very careful regarding what kind of work has been designated to you by your authorities and superiors because if you are unable to complete it then that can create a lot of problems that may uh, actually uh, disturb your uh, name fame and status in front of the people specifically in the work environment another thing mars although it is exalted in the 6th house but mars rules your 9th house that is your belief system your ethics during all these things uh, you may also feel that uh, certain things are not getting right at your workplace with regards to your own ethics with regards to your own belief system so with regards to all these things there can be clashes between you and your co-workers or even with the authorities also so that can actually hamper your mental peace because mars rules your fourth house also now since mars is emerging out as the uh, winner of this planetary war so it indicates that there can be some initial struggles and slowly and gradually things will be better but uh, nevertheless i will say you that suppose you are doing any kind of service or job or you are associated with any kind of uh, work or business then i will say you this is a time when you need to be very careful regarding your work responsibilities and you should follow it with uh, full zeal and confidence even though you may feel that you are not getting the enough benefits out of it or you may feel that i am not getting enough recognition out of it but still i will say you that you have to follow the uh, proper proper rules regulations and norms because don't forget mars is the ninth lord uh and 9th house has something to do with rules regulation uh, jaw, um, uh, justice and law okay so these are the things we need to be very careful about uh, another thing is that uh, during this particular time i will say that try to avoid any kind of like uh, relocation or movement this is the time try to avoid it because uh, venus is your third lord that is and third house is uh, 12th from the fourth house that means relocation change of residence and venus is losing the planet river on the other hand fourth house is home homely matters mars is winning the uh, planet river that is the fourth lord but it is happening in the sixth house now sixth house is basically house of problems it is one of the dustana houses okay so avoid any matter related to change of residence relocation if possible try to avoid it another thing uh, any matter related to your home homely environment or domestic matters or domestic affairs uh, suppose uh, you are going through some kind of problems from past few months or past few days all those matters will be resolved now because fourth lord is getting emerging out as the winner so all those matters will be uh, resolved now but still i will say you that suppose uh, you are thinking to do some changes in your home or you are thinking to make something like some different like interior designings and everything at your home uh, try to avoid that because venus the planet of creativity that is losing uh, the war and venus is also your 10th lord so basically you may feel a bit lethargic in putting new kind of efforts because you will feel that um, uh, that i'm not getting that uh, feeling from within that should i go ahead or not okay so try to maintain this kind of things and if it is not necessary don't start a new kind of work now just follow the work which has been designated to you and you will uh, slowly and gradually you will see that things are getting into uh, in its own places okay so that's it for the leo ascendant people for the virgo ascendant people mars venus the conjunction and the planetary war is happening in your 5th house 
Venus rules your second house and your ninth house. On the other hand, Mars rules your third house and your eighth house. Now, since Venus is losing the planet reward, so that means this is a time when there can be some kind of anxiety or there can be like some kind of stress related to your family matters, your wealth or finances, or there can be some kind of clashes between you and the elders of your family. Specifically, how you are communicating with your father. This is a very important um, matter or fact now at, at this point of time because there can be uh, some kind of classes between you and your father or any fatherly figure in your life. Okay, that means it can be anyone uh, like elderly person in your family. Um, some matter related to your family matters like um, family issues or finances and wealth. These are the things where I see that you need to be very careful. So this is a time try to avoid any kind of new kind of investment or new kind of like financial uh, decisions. Try to avoid now. Okay. Um, means after Venus comes out of its this planetary war and it gets uh, it again its dignity, then you can think about it. But now try to avoid it. Okay. At this point of time, don't take any decision hastily. On the other hand. Since Mars uh, rules your 8th uh, house and your 3rd house and it is getting exalted in the 5th house and um, it is also winning out as the planetary uh, um, winner as the winner of the planetary war. So this indicates that you will be able to follow your creative talents, your hobbies through your continuous efforts. And at times you may also feel that you will be able to like focus more. Uh, in your work, in your creativity, improving your skill set. So this is the time to improve your own creative talents. So at time there can be a possibility that um, in your family, in uh, within the uh, family group or like the people with whom you are staying, um, they may feel that you are completely focusing on yourself. So at times they may feel they may feel that oh you are uh, behaving very selfish or you are like. Uh, always thinking about yourself this kind of feelings can be there this kind of like statements may come upon um, in your life you might feel like that that people are thinking this kind of things for, for you uh, now here something to do with like uh, ego because fifth house apart from first house fifth house also deals with ego it deals with our mentality it deals with our inner thoughts okay now since mars is getting exalted over there so this can bring some kind of stubbornness within you that whatever you are doing you are doing good this kind of stubbornness can be there so this is also a moment you need to be very careful that you don't get into unnecessary class or unnecessary like fights between you and your family members or elders of your family okay um, since mars is coming out of its um, means in the planetary war as the winner this is also a time uh, when you may uh, start a new kind of hobby or you may feel that okay l let me start this or suppose if you are a sports person this is a wonderful time or um, to get success okay and for your hobbies for your creative talents and your own development personal development this is a wonderful time okay now since fifth house is also the house of love and romance and Venus here is losing the planetary war. Mars is winning it. So this is a time when you might get into a relationship or you might get into like um, some love relationship and something like that uh, out of your impulse and out of your excitement. Okay, so make sure that you don't get into a wrong type of relationship out of your impulse. Okay, so uh, because you see Venus is your ninth lord. Ninth Lord is Dharma, Ninth Lord is like justice, righteousness, divinity and that is losing the planetary war. So don't make any hasteful decision while you are getting into a uh, new relationship or you are like um, bringing a new person in your life. Okay, don't make any hasteful decisions. That's it for the Virgo Ascendant people. For the Libra Ascendant people, uh, Venus is the Lagna Lord. Venus is your 8th lord and Mars is your 2nd lord and your 7th lord. Okay. This Mars-Venus conjunction is happening in the 4th house. Yes, uh, Mars is exalted. But here you have to see that Mars is losing the directional strength. On the other hand, Venus is getting the directional strength. 
but in this planetary war mars is the winner venus is the loser so here um, two three things i will say that first of all uh, by the time 25th february comes uh, you will see uh, any kind of matter related to money finances or family matters or any matter related to relationships uh, partnerships uh, all those things will be resolved okay if any clashes are there if any tension or problem is there those things will be resolved okay but when it comes to your own health when it comes to your own personality your own name fame uh, your own status regarding those things you need to be very careful because venus is the lagna lord and venus is losing the planetary war in the fourth house now fourth house is happiness fourth house is mental peace mental security okay so at time you may feel that uh, you are getting so many things but um, at the cost of your own health at the cost of your own happiness okay so you will feel that okay there are five things to achieve okay i have achieved those things but there are certain things which uh, has created lot of problems also so this kind of things will be there this is a time when you need to be very careful regarding the health of your mother okay because this is happening in the 4000 4000 house is mother okay so if you are like um, staying with your mother okay so take care regarding her health take care regarding uh, her uh, everything like um, means just provide more care and support towards her so that will be a blessing for you because you see venus and moon they are the significator of the fourth house okay now since venus is losing the planetary war so more you are taking care regarding the um, health of her mother and all the this um, uh, or supporting her or uh, providing care for her you will see that this will balance that emotional levels and feelings for you okay this will be like a blessing for you okay another thing i will say that here venus and mars means venus rules your first house mars rules your seventh house at certain times you may feel that you have to compromise on certain matters means by the time 25th of february comes you may feel this that in your interpersonal relationships means that can be at the personal level at the professional level now even if you are not in a relationship in that case also i will say uh, anyone with whom you are binding or anyone with whom you are connecting uh, that can be any person okay you may feel that that person is getting more dominating or that person or you may feel that your own personality is getting um, subdued or certain times you may feel that uh, you have to compromise on certain matters okay these are the things which you may feel um, but there is nothing to worry because this is a just a phase this will be just a phase uh, yes out of that don't make any hasteful decisions like why what i say mars rules your second house of finance and wealth now out of the influence of some other person don't make any expenditure or don't make any hasteful decisions related to your finances okay or like uh, don't get into any kind of like fights and clashes okay uh, these are the things you need to be very careful because this is just a phase after this planetary war is over slowly and gradually venus will regain its dignity okay so that will be a time when you will feel much more easy and calm okay that time you will see that the energy of mars and venus together they are giving you good results okay so during during this particular one week time you need to be a bit careful otherwise other things are quite good so that's it for the libra ascendant people for the scorpio ascendant people mars and venus the conjunction and the planetary war is happening in your third house mars rules your sixth house and the first house it is the ascendant lord venus rules your seventh house and your twelfth house mars is winning the planetary war it is exalted in the third house so that means this is the time of success this is the time when you will be able to focus on your hobbies your creative talents um there is a time when you will be able to like get success in your career profession business and whatever work you are doing or you are thinking to start uh you may also able to uh, like uh, focus on your talents or you can restart any kind of new kind of work during this particular time so this is a time when uh, you can work through your confidence through your valor 
एंड इम्प्रूव योर एफर्ट्स इम्प्रूव योर वर्क मेथडोलॉजीज एंड अल्टीमेटली इट इज़ गोइंग टू गिव यू वेरी गुड रिजल्ट आई कैन सी सम काइंड ऑफ लाइक शॉर्ट ट्रेवल्स ऑल्सो ड्यूरिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम ओके एंड अल्टीमेटली इट विल नॉट ओनली इम्प्रूव योर पर्सनैलिटी इट विल इम्प्रूव योर हेल्थ ऑल्सो ओके नाउ वीनस इज लूजिंग दी प्लानिटरी वॉर इट इज रूलिंग योर सेवेंथ हाउस एंड योर ट्वेल्थ हाउस एंड दिस प्लानिटरी वॉर इज हैपनिंग इन दी थर्ड हाउस एंड वीनस सिंस इट इज दी लॉर्ड ऑफ पार्टनरशिप लूजिंग दी प्लानिटरी वॉर इन दी हाउस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन एंड वैलर इन दी सेवन इन दी थर्ड हाउस दैट मीन्स दिस इज अ टाइम वेन देयर कैन बी सिग्निफिकेंट मिसकम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन यू एंड योर पार्टनर नाउ दिस हैज समथिंग टू डू विथ लाइक पर्सनल पार्टनरशिप आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट now suppose if you are in a married life or you are in a relationship in that case i'm talking about this will impact you more at the professional level now uh, there can be some misunderstanding some difference of opinions or maybe some uh, clashes between you and your partner okay uh, and you need to be very careful regarding that because mars in the third house normally what happens uh, such a person has a very straight forward communicative skills okay since it is exalted so what will happen it will have a great amount of control but yes since venus is the seventh lord and it is losing the planetary war so what will happen you will have a uh, dominating impact over your partner okay be it personal be it professional but at the personal level there can be significant amount of struggle while um, connecting with your partner okay uh, there can be like miscommunications and all your partner will feel it more basically so this is a time when you need to be very careful regarding his or her health okay means it is your own responsibility because first lord mars is getting exalted winner of the planetary war uh, in the third house so it is well dignified so it is it becomes your responsibility to take care regarding all those those things uh, with regards to your partner okay that will be better now someone will say that what if i am not in a partnership i am not in a relationship what about that uh, in that case i will say you that um, it can be like any two person any like it can be interpersonal relationship means it can be like uh, with whom you are connecting because third house is also the house of communication uh, nowadays social communications are like um, very normal correct so this is the time when you may connect with someone in uh, social communication and you may get connected with your uh, like um, someone which you, you may start liking uh, him or her okay so while you are connecting Uh, this is a time when you need to be very careful regarding that you should not hurt the emotions of that person okay because uh, you will have a dominating impact dominating impact over that person so uh, it can be like any interpersonal relationship okay uh, since venus rules your 12th house also and it is um, losing the planetary war so at times you may feel that at the uh, subconscious level you are uh, not um, getting that a uh, peace of mind or you are not getting that happiness somewhere down the line you may feel that you are uh, overworking I means since you are getting success you are doing one thing you are doing the other thing you are uh, focusing your uh, attention to the other thing okay so a time will come when you may feel that you are not getting that proper amount of rest you are not getting that proper amount of that uh, peace at the subconscious level so this kind of things can be there so you need to be very careful that while uh, you are focusing on your work and day to day activities you must also focus on two things first thing is that uh, towards your partner bit personal bit professional specifically more towards your personal relationship i'm talking about second thing is that your rest uh, relaxing your subconscious mind okay by this way this will give you much more better results so that's it for this scorpio ascendant people for this sagittarius ascendant people this particular conjunction and this transit planetary war between mars and venus is happening in your second house now mars uh, rules your fifth house and mars rules your 12th house on the other hand venus rules your um, 11th house and venus rules your 6th house now since uh, this planetary war is happening in the second house this has something to do with your finances something to do with your family matter your anything which you value the most anything uh, which is under your possessions okay so two three things which are very important the first thing is that this is a time don't make any hasteful decision regarding uh, money finance 
or any new kind of investments i try to avoid that uh, second thing is that any matter related to your family where you may feel that it can lead to some kind of conflict it may lead to some kind of like clashes try to avoid it try to uh, make the things much more normal rather than getting into some kind of indifference or conflict okay because since mars is winning the planetary war so um, normally what happens it brings that kind of excitement impulse that yes mm, i have to do it so try to avoid that because that can create much more problems okay another thing is that why i say money related matter more because venus rules your 11th house of income earnings so regarding your income regarding your earnings or regarding your development those are the matters where uh, some classes can be there those are the matters where some indifferences can be there between you and your near and dear ones in the family matter with regards to these uh, like uh, money because second house is like the fixed asset the savings basically okay so why see i see that that financial matters uh, are under the scanner so you need to be very careful regarding that you don't make any unnecessary spendings or expenditures during this particular time another thing is that venus rules your sixth house now sixth house is basically the house of problems i will say it is one of the dostana houses and it is uh, that planet uh, is losing the planetary war in the second house that means it is also a time i will say you because sixth house has something to do with uh, regularity perfection uh, sixth house has something to do with job and service okay so this is a time when you may feel that uh, the the work which you are doing the job which you are doing or you are doing any service under someone you may find some kind of disinterest you may find like um, i need to change the course of my work and that may create problems in your income um that is money related matters okay so suppose you are doing any job you are doing any service this is a time you need to be very careful because at certain moment of time you may feel that let me leave everything i don't want this this kind of feelings may come but trust me it is it is a very temporary feeling it is not a permanent feeling it's a temporary feeling slowly and gradually things will be better because after the planetary war is ended uh things will be much better but initially this kind of feelings may come within your mind and uh, don't make any hasteful decisions this is what i will say now since mars is winning the planetary war and mars rules your 12th house and your 5th house now 5th house has something to do with creativity creative skills uh, creative uh, self expression but 5th house is 8th from the 10th house so any changes happened in uh, profession or career it has some link with the fifth house okay now since fifth house lord mars is winning the planetary war so i will say you that this also indicates that you may feel that okay let me start some work of my own let me do this let me do that so for that i need money let me invest this amount of money in this business and start this work now that can create some kind of problems in your family matters okay or that financial matters so you need to be very careful regarding that don't make any hasteful decisions at this point of time since mars is also your 12th lord and it is uh, emerging out as the winner of the uh, um, planetary war so you will feel that the things which are creating rifts or anxiety or stress uh, for you you will try to dissolve it now if it is work you will think to change the work if it is job you will think to okay um, let me find some other opportunity but again i will say you that uh, don't make any hasteful decisions okay and um, have a control over your speech because here mars can make you like um, a very straight forward speaker okay sometimes very harsh okay so um, the listeners will feel it so on these things you need to be very careful that is what i will say for the sagittarius ascendant people for the capricorn ascendant people this conjunction and this planetary war is happening in your first house itself now mars uh, is a very important planet for you mars rules your fourth house and your 11th house on the other hand venus is the yoga karaka planet for the capricorn ascendant people venus rules your fifth house and your 10th house now 
fifth house and tenth house lord is venus which is losing the planetary war in the first house so that means uh, this is the time when you may feel that i need to do something more in order to have that more income or more earnings so there can be a sense of dissatisfaction it is not disinterest it is some kind of dissatisfaction why mars which is winning the planetary war uh, mars rules your 11th house of growth and development so you may feel that okay i can get that but in order to get that i need to do something else so there can be a sense of dissatisfaction from your work there can be a sense of like um, means you may also uh, have a serious like a serious amount of conflict and uh, disinterest towards your own um, creative skill set also you may feel that okay i have to improve more in order to gain that position so this kind of things can be there so this is also a time when you may have some kind of clashes between you and your superiors and authorities because superiors and authorities boss can be seen from the 10th house and venus is the 10th lord which is losing the planetary war so at times you may feel that there can be a moment you just um, did something you uh, said something okay um, <coughs> and that created some kind of clashes between you and your uh, boss or authorities okay this is the thing i will say you uh, so don't make any hasteful decisions with regards to your work and profession during this particular time it's very important i will say now another things that mars and venus they will be directly looking on to your seventh house of your uh, partnership relationship be it personal be it professional uh, let it be like interpersonal relationships okay so this is the time when uh, i will say you that um, this may create a great deal of impulsion and excitement passion uh, in your relationship and since mars is uh, emerging out as the winner so it can make you at times very impulsive very excited so when you are dealing with other person try to make sure that you don't uh, act upon your ego you don't act upon your impulsion okay this is very important on the other hand um, this will give you a great deal of confidence this is a time of self development basically okay uh, you see mars is your fourth lord and 11th lord basically mars rules your luxuries comforts so this is the time when you will focus mainly towards your luxuries comforts and focus so suppose at your workplace certain matters are creating problems like certain matters you may feel that um, that may be um, these are the facilities which i should get these are the amenities which i should get so this is a time when you can uh, put up this kind of things uh, this request in front of your superiors and authorities and get the work done and you will see that yes those work works are uh, done in your favor okay these are the things you can make sure another thing i will say here is that venus is your fifth lord okay and um, since venus is losing the planetary war in the first house and mars is winning it so suppose if you are in a romantic relationship or suppose you are thinking to get into a romantic relationship during this particular time you need to be very careful because um, it may happen that um, uh, you may act upon uh, on your impulse on your excitement on your passion and your compassion your affection your love may suffer to some extent i will say you so when you are getting into a romantic relationship or suppose if you are in a love relationship in that case i will say that have a control over that excitement because at times it may make you very impulsive and that may create some kind of rifts between you and your partner okay so that's it for the capricorn ascendant people for the aquarius ascendant people this particular conjunction is happening in your 12th house the planetary war between mars and venus is happening in the 12th house now venus is a very important planet for you venus is the like yoga karaka planet for the aquarius ascendant people it rules your 9th house and your 4th house okay mars is also very important mars rules your 3rd house and 10th house and it is ex exalted mars is exalted in the 12th house and it is also winning the planetary war so with regards to your efforts with regards to your work service job your career uh regarding though regarding those things i see that uh, some success 
some good results coming up in front of you although the transit of mars in the 12th house is not considered that great but since it is dignified it is exalted it is winning the planetary war so what i can see is that with regards to your work with regards to your efforts i can see some kind of uh, good results some good news okay it may happen that you are working uh, on your own you are working like uh, in a uh, solo environment in an isolated way um, or mode of work okay but i can see some kind of success your efforts uh, you will be like very happy to put your efforts your subconscious mind will be very happy to work on that kind of environment okay but yes since mars is your third lord transiting in the 12th house there can be some kind of like uh, miscommunications also you need to be very careful regarding that miscommunication between you and your partner you and like any other person means it can be like interpersonal relationships okay venus which rules um, your fourth house and your um, ninth house it is losing the planetary war so the first thing which i will say that uh, during this particular time you need to be very careful regarding the health of your parents fourth house is mother ninth house is father okay so you need to be very careful regarding the health of your parents this is the first thing second thing is that uh, this is a time when you may feel that your own belief system the things which you uh, follow the things which you uh, really admire those ethics those belief system is getting clashed at your workplace means when you are following your work sector your work uh, you may feel that normally this is what i don't do but now i am uh, i am uh, just bound to do it okay this kind of feeling may come in front of you so that may actually uh, disturb your subconscious mind to some extent okay uh, although you will get success at your work life but um, when it comes to that inner happiness you may feel that it is lacking to some extent so this is during a you know, during this particular time i will say that performing the religious activities performing the spiritual activities and um, that will be really beneficial for you trust me because venus rules your fourth house and your uh, ninth house um, so more you are performing the religious and spiritual activities uh, more it will be beneficial for you more it will give you that calmness that inner peace within you okay another thing is that uh, mars and venus now since mars is your third lord and venus becomes your like ninth house lord during this particular time you need to be very careful that what knowledge or what wisdom you are preaching or what you are uh, expressing in front of the world because there can be some kind of miscommunications you wanted to say something but that um, got away into some other way okay and it got into some kind of conflict and miscommunication misunderstanding basically so make sure that you have a proper control over your that communication and to whom you are communicating okay so that's it for the aquarius ascendant people for the pisces ascendant people this planetary conjunction between mars and venus and the planetary war is happening in the 11th house normally the transit of mars and venus in the 11th house is considered very good this is irrespective of the planetary war i'm talking about means this transit through the 11th house is considered very good for mars and venus they normally work very uh, effectively with regards to the growth and development of the native but since the planetary war is happening so regarding that i will say that mars is the ruler of your second house and your ninth house so it's a very important planet for you by the virtue of this planetary war you will see that you will be able to uh, focus on your growth on your development on your earnings and you will also have like some kind of aims and goals in your life to achieve with regards to your finances investments uh, you know, many thing which you value okay this is also a time like suppose if you are associated with any kind of work which requires like family trade family business enterprise or something like that in those areas you will be really doing very good because mars happens to be your second lord which rules over family wealth okay and family members so in that case this is really going to give you very good results okay 
now since mars is also the ruler of your ninth house uh, prosperity fortune luck divinity belief system and that is getting exalted in the 11th house and also becoming the winner of your this uh, planetary war so that means this is a time when you will be able to put your belief system put your knowledge your spiritual knowledge and you will see that your luck is supporting you you is you are like you will feel that okay um, there are problems but i am getting fortunate so this is the time when you may get applauded applauded you may get some appreciations from your seniors your name fame status may get uh, improvised okay at your workplace also you may get significant uh, significant amount of success which may actually make you feel that yes i can achieve this kind of things this kind of goals in my life in future okay now venus rules uh, means venus is the ruler of your third house and venus is also the ruler of your eighth house okay third house is efforts third house is also like valor communication skills now that planet venus the third ruler uh, the um, having the lordship of third house that is losing the planetary war in the 11th house so this is a time when there can be like some kind of miscommunications or indifference or conflict of opinions between you and someone in your network circle in your social communication um, means in your like day to day contact of any person okay and so that's that is a time when you need to have a proper control over your impulses because that can lead to some kind of indifferences significant indifferences i will say okay now venus rules your um, eighth house also now since venus rules your eighth house and it is losing the planetary war in the 11th house um i will say during this particular time uh you will see that some all of a sudden some ups and downs are coming and you are not ready for it in your life specifically with regards to uh means relationship or the responsibilities of a relationship because eight thousand is uh, relationship and the responsibilities related to it Uh, specifically in the married life or specifically in the like uh, in the professional partnership also like uh, that can be the joint assets or collaborations or something like that okay so you will see that on this matter you need to be more focused suppose if you are in married life then you need to be very careful regarding the responsibilities the commitment the duties towards your partner and the married life okay so these are the things we need to be very careful now suppose suppose you are not in a married life or you are not in a relationship in that case i will say that eighth house has something to do with your health also so uh, and since venus rules your third house of effort so i can see that at times you need to be very careful regarding your health at times you may feel a bit more like um the energy although mars is exalted but still you may feel that you need to focus more on your energy level um in order to prove yourself more better at your workplace okay so these are the things which you need to be very careful so that's it for the pisces ascendant people so that was for all the 12 ascendant signs and i hope that you have liked this video if you have liked this video press the like button share it to your near and dear ones and if you are new to this channel subscribe the channel and click on the subscribe button click on to the notification bell icon so that every time i make a new video you get notified instantly and your comments are always welcome um, if you have any relevant question or relevant query then um, do write down below i will have a look on it okay and if you want a personalized consultation uh, then check the links down in the description section you can mail me through my email id or you can get connected with me through my facebook or instagram account so next time when i come back i will be coming back with some another interesting video so till then i am signing off for today thanking you bye bye